I'm back at the spot where I filmed the lady in white video. Now, if you don't remember, this is what happened here. Come on, mate. I brought my night vision with me so I can see in the dark and we can have a look around. I brought a half decent torch with me. I ain't got one of those super duper ones that light up the forest, but it'll do. And I brought a trail camera with me, which I'll face onto my tent so we can see if anything comes at me in the night. I brought a big power bank so I can have a GoPro running all night as well on a night lapse. And I've also brought an old phone and I've downloaded a, uh, a sleep recording app what records your snoring and talking in your sleep so I've charged that up and I'm gonna leave that out in the middle of the woods somewhere and see if that picks up anything now it's been about six months since I've been here and quite a lot's changed looks like they've had BMXs or mountain bikers up here and they built some ramps one right behind where I had my hammock. Now I've stashed my backpack behind a tree over there off the path. So if anyone comes and sees me at the moment, it just looks like I'm walking dog because I want to minimize any outside impact that people might have. Looks like there's a downed tree over there. That's new. And there's also a new fire pit here. It is eerie quiet at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a walk around and see if I can figure out what was actually making that noise. Because a lot of people were saying it was wind going through things, a person. Someone said that it might be a bushcrafter and they've dug an all in ground and they've got a house in ground somewhere, like a bushcraft shelter. Can't see that like, but you never know, do you? She just stood there staring at me. Come on, then. What's up with you? Right, so when I camped here before, the sound it sounded like it was coming from over here somewhere so let's go and have a look Den from kids, maybe. Can't remember this being here. Someone could have hid underneath here. Camp's just over there. It's hard to see stuff in dark though, isn't it? This is the old station here. What we looked at last time. It's all overgrown now. I think this is it in here. Yeah, look. There's the station wall there and the big coping stones on top of it. Looks like somebody's 
been up here and try to shift these. They'd be worth a fortune. Good luck shifting them though. Wow, it's well overgrown. Looks like we stumbled upon another camp here. So it's not just me that has camped in here before. And there's the path leading up there to that house. Right, I'm gonna get back over there. Now that I've had a, a really good look around and I've established that there isn't any fox or badger dens anywhere, I'm gonna go and sit in one of these camps and wait for it to get dark and then I'll set my tent up. I wanted to bring Paul with me to this camp, but he's working nights. So, unfortunately, he can't come. So I need you all to go onto his Instagram, eyes like a chameleon, I'll link it down below, and you need to spam him, follow him and spam him saying, why have you left Grizzly Gaz to rot on his own? <laughs> Cheers. I've been waiting as well for the perfect conditions. It's been absolutely hammering it down for weeks. It's been really windy as well and there is a slight breeze at the moment above the canopy. But down here, there's not much at all. Apart from that bit of breeze though, it's very, very quiet in here. As you can see, absolutely pitch black now. <laughs> it's about 11 o'clock. I've, uh, I've set the trail camera up on, a, on that tree there in front of us facing the tent. And I've set the time for it to record between one o'clock in the morning and seven o'clock in the morning. Because that's when I'll be asleep basically. <laughs> But there's not a right lot happening. Our Fendel's in bed, sleeping. Should we go for a little walk? Ain't dark. Right, let's see how this torch does. What's it like on GoPro? It's probably crap, isn't it? But I can see plenty with that. People told me to look up last time. Can't see out in trees apart from bats. <laughs> Batman. You probably can't see out through GoPro, can you? Might have to change to my phone. See, that's what my eyes can see. What the uh, what the camera phone's picking up, which is pretty decent. It's just that the GoPro's a proper crap in low light and notorious for it. What are you doing, mate? You coming for a walk or not? Are you staying there? 
<laughs> Go on, don't be a baby. feel at ease. It feels nice and calm in here. Excuse you, mate. You gurping? Oh, that stinks. <laughs> right. It's 12 o'clock now, well, five past. And not heard note or see note as such, but I've got all the cameras rolling outside. Got the trail camera going, and also the uh, sleep recorder thing. So, unless anything happens during night, I'll see you in the morning. What we met. Night. It's almost five o'clock. Woke up a couple of times. Woke up about half two. And then again about half four. Didn't hear out myself during night. I don't know what woke me up. That's not new for me. <laughs> I did have a nightmare at half past four when I woke up earlier. And that's what woke me up then. I had a dream for years, never mind a nightmare. I've gone and got the uh, Bible phone from over there. I'm just going to have a quick listen to these recordings. Let's see if we've got out. Don't know what that was. Sounds like it could just be wind noise, but I'm not sure. I have to listen to it through headphones. Right. You've only got 10% left, so what I'm going to do is pack up and get home, have a look, see what's on, if we've got any footage or anything on the uh, trail camera and then on this phone, the sound recording. And if I've caught out, then I'll put it all together with the night lapse that I did. But if I ain't caught anything, then I'll just give you the night lapse with some nice music. <laughs> anyway, roll the clip. <laughs> 